I'm Victor from Divimundo, and today I'm going to share my favorite tricks on responsive design in Divi. So just to get everyone on board, responsive design means that your website adapts to the device and the resolution that your visitors are using. This is crucial for your search engine optimization and of course for your user experience. So is Divi responsive? And the answer is yes. But does that mean that your design will look great in all screen sizes automatically? Nah, not really. You have to make an effort. Let's take this juicy layout as an example. So when I activate the Divi Visual Builder, I can click this purple icon in the bottom to see my different preview devices. By default, the desktop view is active. And you can see the traditional horizontal menu in the top. And we have this here area with a big beautiful text and if I scroll down we have a two column row with text a button and an image to the right and then in the bottom we have a brag board with six columns of client logos and if I would like to preview this in tablet I can just click the tablet icon and if I would like to preview it in a phone, I can just click the phone icon. And as you can see here, some of the changes are made automatically, like the menu is transformed into a hamburger menu on mobile devices, but the padding and the text sizes is something that we have to take care of ourselves. If I scroll down, I can see that the two column row is now stacked into a one column row with the text and then the button and the image. And we can also see that the text has a line break here in the mobile design, so we have to fix that. And in the bottom we have our logos and they are pretty big and uh, they're also stacked in one column instead of six columns. So before we'll tweak this design, I'll just show you a few more things in the preview mode. You can click this icon to tilt the device and uh, see how it looks in uh, landscape mode. And one thing that I often do is that I click this drop down and instead of using this generic phone view with the width of 414 pixels, I'll choose maybe an iPhone or another popular model to have a more realistic preview. And now I can click this button to make this the default phone view so I don't have to change this each time. Another nice time saver that you can use is keyboard shortcuts. Instead of clicking these different devices, I can uh, use my keyboard and press Command or Control minus to move to the left to the bigger device. Or I can press Command plus or Control plus to go to the right to the smaller screen sizes. Before you start to edit your mobile and tablet design, you need to understand the difference between the responsive preview mode and the responsive design settings. A common mistake is that people start to drag here in the mobile view to change, for example, the padding. But if I go back to the desktop preview, you can see that this affected all devices and uh, that's not the result that I wanted. So I'll undo this by Command Z, Control Z. And the right way to do this is to click the cog wheel, go to the design settings. And in this case, I'll go to spacing. And we can see that we have top padding of 150 pixels and a bottom padding of 550 pixels. To change this on tablet, I'll click the responsive icon. And now I can click the device that I want to edit, for example, the tablet. And you can see that it has inherited the bigger device, the desktop, 150 pixels in top and 550 pixels in bottom. So I could now change this to maybe 50 pixels top. And in the bottom, we could have maybe 300 pixels. And if I want to tweak the phone settings, I'll have to do the same procedure and you can see that it has inherited tablet settings here, 50 and 300 pixels, but I can override that by saying maybe 30 pixels in top and we can use 100 pixels in bottom. And if I go back to the bigger devices, you can see that they've kept their settings. And the same principle goes for text size. So I want to change this one in tablet and phone. So I can actually hover this element and click the pencil icon. 
and that will open the settings and uh, I'll go down to the title text size and I'll click the responsive icon and make sure that the tablet is active and now I can change this to maybe 80 pixels for tablet looks better and for phone I'll use 30 pixels and then I can use the same principle to tweak all these different design settings like this subtitle text maybe I can use 18 for phone I can do the same for this text module I'll go to this h2 settings and the desktop size is 45 pixels I'll click the responsive icon make sure that phone is selected and we can go for maybe 21 pixels in size or maybe 23. I can also do this for line height, I can do it for letter spacing, etc, etc. And now I have this button with a line break. One obvious fix would be to have shorter text, just removing this one, learn more, and it looks better, but maybe I want to have more text. Put that one back, I'll go to the design settings, button, and we have the button text size. I click the responsive icon, phone, and let's scale it down to maybe 16 pixels. Or we can drag this one down until it looks better. Now you shouldn't do this for every single module on your site. You can right click and apply this style to an active preset. Yes. And this means that every button on my entire website will have this styling on phone. Another thing you can do in Divi is to display or hide elements depending on the device the visitor is using. So if I take this image and click the cogwheel and I'll go to advanced and visibility, I could choose to disable this one on phone and maybe also on tablet. And you can see now that it's grayed out and this will be invisible if you visit this with this with a real phone or a tablet if you think that this takes unnecessary space. And the last one, we have these logos. I think they are a bit too big, so I can open the image settings here, go to the design sizing, and we can take the max width, click the responsive icon, and I can set this to max width of 150 pixels. And instead of doing this to all the five other logos here, I can just right click the max width, and I can extend the max width to all images throughout this row. And I click extend. There we go, looks much better. Okay guys, this last trick is something that I use on all my DV websites to make it look better in smartphones. And that is changing the default row width. So by default, the row, and that's the green box here in DV, uh, they take up 80% of the viewport width and that's fine for the bigger screens on desktop and, and tablets but in the tiny smartphone screen I would like to have more width for my content so to do that I click the cogwheel for the row I'll go to the design settings and I click sizing and as you can see the default width is 80% for all devices so I'll hover width and I'll click the responsive design icon and I'll make sure that the phone is selected and I will change this to 90% and have a close look here to see the change, 90. And this way we have more space for our content in these smaller screens. And in the last step, I will save this as a global default. So that means that all my existing rows will be 90% wide in mobile and all my future rows will have this size by default as well. So I'll right click the width and I'll choose apply style to active preset. This will affect all rows using the row default preset across your entire site. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. Perfect. And if I would like to override this in one single row somewhere, maybe I want it to be 60% or 100%, I can just go into the row settings, design, sizing, I'll go to mobile and I could change this to maybe 100% and this will override the default setting. That's all for today. If you want more Divi tutorials, for example on how to style the mobile menu or how to change the number of columns in mobile or tablet or 
about 60 other Divi tutorials. You should check out my YouTube channel. Just search for Divimundo or check out divimundo.com and you'll find everything there.